Okay. Let's see if we can make this look good. This is a this looks kind of like a yucky sort of colour, but there's some bright colours in it. There's a patch of really nice rainbow colours that we're gonna utilise. So we're gonna blow this up 400 percent So let's see if we can make it look good. Okay. Okay, right, let's see what it is. Okay, I found this on the ground. It is, join us for fun on the hill at North Sydney Oval. This is a women's cricket. So this is the, this is the, uh, I think this is the front cover, but that's, that's by like a, a double-sided flyer or something, it's interesting women's cricket it's funny how you could say sexism that's one of the main areas where sexism this is what we're photocopying it's one area where sexism is sexism is rife is in sport it's always the men that get the get the glory to get on television for their sport for doing doing what they do best women don't get as much televised action as the men do it's quite rare which just does not seem fair at all, but I think it's just the culture of the of the whole industry. I think most people don't take the women seriously, and I think also it's the the viewers themselves, like the men, male viewers. I think the males would rather see males rather than females, which just seems well. This didn't turn out right. We missed it, but basically, it's it's just so entrenched in the in sport. Uh, that it's not funny. Uh, I'll try that again. I'm just having trouble with this once again. But basically, it's mostly the men that get the glory. So it's not fair, but what can you do? But I guess there's only a certain amount of air time, so somehow the males get the priority. I don't know what the solution to this is, how we can make... Oh, that looks interesting. We didn't get much movement, but maybe we're going to leave it like that and we're going to enlarge a section out of this. But it just seems unfair that and that the males get all the televised action and the women just get local-type recognition like this. Uh, I, don't, I, I just can't work out how they can fix that problem because there is only a certain amount of time that this stuff can be screened. Uh, we can't account for everything, and just but still, it just seems like it's wrong that women have to forego any kind of major award, reward for doing what they do. You know, it should be it'd be nice if sport could be more more uh, equal opportunity. You know, but women's lib is a long way away from from being real. It's just so, but there's a, there is a lot of sexism in this world, I must say. There isn't, it's not just sport, it's other things too. So really it's a big, it's going to be a real uphill battle trying to, trying to hit, trying to get rid of most of the sexism that we have these days. I think we're going to darken this a bit, a fair amount. So yeah, it's not an easy question to answer about sport I don't know much about sport and I'm not into sport I don't really have much of an interest in in the sports myself but I do appreciate you know that people love sport it's like me I love photocopiers but but even even in the photocopier game there's a lot of of um corruption and shit it's probably more corrupt than cricket I mean at least you, when you want to if you want to be a cricket player, you've got to love cricket. You've got to really love cricket and you've got to be good at cricket. Whereas when you're in the photocopier industry, all you need to do is know how to make money and how to rip people off. And hey, presto, you've got a job in the photocopier industry. 
and if you're the most corrupt, psychopathic asshole, you make you you end up becoming CEO or, or working in the upper echelons of the industry. So it's not fair, but that's how things have been put. That looks interesting. I think that's quite a nice composition. I'm thinking we're going to run with that. But basically, it just seems so unfair that the people who care, and this is in most industries, um, that the people who care about the industry, about the customers, about the environment, they just get left on the sidelines. You know, they just get left there like in sport. They just sit on the sidelines and watch the action, but they don't have any way of partaking in the action. So they can't make a difference. They can't save the planet. They can't stop slave labour from proliferating because the photocopier industry does make use, from what I can tell. Hey, why do you think they don't manufacture it in, in Japan anymore? Because Chinese and, and this, is, this actual part was manufactured in China and the base or the pedestal was manufactured in Vietnam. So go figure. You know, basically, that's like cheap slave labour they've got. And it's just so wrong. And why am I doing this? I want to have mirror images. So basically, it's all slave labour, you know. They don't care about... So for me to get this machine, some people, their freedom and their and their human rights were abused so I could have this fucking machine. That's just something I don't like, but what can I do? You know, I need a photocopier. Where else can you get a photocopier? There are no there are no photocopier companies that I'm aware of who are sustainable, who are sustainable environmentally and human rights wise. So what can I do? I need a photocopier. I, I love photocopying. I love doing my fucking stuff, but it's impacting on the world, even though that's not what I want. But I want to make a difference one day. And I'm just so frustrated at this time that I can't make any difference, nothing. Everything I say is probably disappearing into thin air. Everything I have to say, I'm not one of those rich people. I'm not one of those privileged people. I'm disabled. I suck. The, the rich people think people like me suck. Well, I have something to say to them. You fucking suck. You fucking suck. I'm trying my best to make, a, make something of my life. One day they'll have technology to fix my brain damage and look out, fucking rich. You're fucking going to be rumbled. Your fucking products are going to be selling so much less than mine. We'll build the best photocopier, the best environmentally friendly, sustainable photocopier the rest of you fuckwits in the industry can go fuck off.